Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a spaghetti sauce. It's very versatile. You can put in ingredients, you can take out ingredients. So if you want to learn how to make this really simple spaghetti sauce, continue watching. So what you're going to need is here I have a small onion diced. I have here two small bell peppers diced and I have a teaspoon of uh, garlic from a jar. Here I have ground turkey. It's ground turkey. You can use ground beef if you like. This one is uh, from H-E-B and it's a pound. Here I have some mushrooms in a can. You can use fresh mushrooms. Um, I have four ounces here. Then I have some bay leaves. I also have some uh, Italian herbs that I'm going to be putting into it. I have some salt and pepper. It's about maybe a teaspoon. You can add more. This is what I'm going to add to the ground turkey uh, when it's cooking. Here is some spaghetti sauce. You can make your own, but today I'm going to use this one from the jar. So let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is put your stove on medium heat. Here I got some canola oil. You can use vegetable oil or any kind of oil that you like. I put about one tablespoon. So now you're going to want to take your onions and put them inside the pot. Now you're going to want to add your teaspoon of garlic. and add your ground beef or ground turkey at this moment. And you're gonna to wanna to cook this until it's no longer raw. I have some salt and pepper here. It's gonna take maybe about five minutes to get this completely cooked. And this is what you're going to be left if you're cooking with the ground turkey. With ground beef, you're going to have to make sure the meat's slightly browned. But since this is ground turkey, all the, there is no grease left into this. I mean, as you can tell, there's nothing really left. So now you can add the green bell pepper. If you had any other ingredients that you would like to add to the sauce right now, just like uh, you would use zucchini or you would use any other kind of um, vegetable, you would put it in right now. I also have the mushrooms. I have four ounces of mushrooms here. So I'm going to put that in there. There you go. And stir it in. I actually forgot to put one of the seasonings I like. I'm about to add it right now. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of fennel seeds. This gives it a really strong aroma. I enjoy it. If you have never tried fennel seeds, give it a try. And now I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. And now we're ready for the pasta sauce. So just add your sauce in. And what I usually do is I take a little bit of water and rinse all of the sauce out of the jar. So that's what I'm going to do. And now there's no leftover sauce. And now what I'm going to do is add two bay leaves in the sauce. When it's actually finished cooking, I'll just pick them out. That way nobody gets to eat a bay leaf. Nobody wants that, so I'll just stir that in. I mean, seriously, that looks really good. Now what you're going to want to do is you can put it... You can actually eat it just like this. Just, um... Keep it at a simmer for the next 10 minutes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it 
to simmer for the next 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm gonna be ready to eat. Make sure you put a cover on it and it'll be done. So we'll be back. It's all done, complete. Looks really good. Now let's try it out. It is hot though. The sauce is very sweet. Uh, it's it's really good. The squash, I like it. It's, it has this um, texture of also sweetness and uh, a bit of a crunch. It's really good. Um, the only thing I would probably have with this is the jalapeno since I like spicy food. But other than that, it's really good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.